At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come to abolish, I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, we hear Jesus say to us, I have come not to abolish the law or the prophets, but to fulfill them. As we think of this particular phrase and begin to think of the kingdom of God, we are realize that all the rules and regulations were meant to give the directions to people and bring about reorientation towards God the Yahweh. And therefore, when we think of the rules and the regulations, it is for us to remind us that these rules are not end in themselves, yet they are meant to give us that direction. The same way the Mosaic law were meant for spiritual guidance for the people in Israel to give the Israelites the new directions that they would be led towards Yahweh. Therefore, my dear friends, as we listen to the gospel today and ponder on the words of Jesus, that he is here to bring about that fulfillment, to bring about changes in our lives, change from the judgmental way of life and the attitude towards that love and showing concern towards God and one's neighbor. Jesus, in other words, is the fulfillment of the Old Testament as we pay attention to the Gospel of St. Matthew. Dear friends, let's look into our lives. Where do we stand in our relationship with God and also with our neighbors? Do we intend to connect with the Lord so as to bring about that rejuvenation, that celebration of life, the rules and different guidelines that are given to us for our spiritual purposes. As we celebrate this Holy Eucharist, as we receive Jesus in his word and also the body and blood of Christ, we pray that at least for this day, we have that reorientation, rejuvenation towards laws and the spiritual well-being matters concerning God and neighbor, that they may lead us to Jesus and ultimately to God our Father. Amen.